always use a little bit of something to clean. Where the needle's gonna go in. We're using Avid chips. Avid is a company that has created some of these microchips and um, they had the patent on it. So there were other companies that came forward and tried to do that in the US and they lost a lawsuit to Avid. So Avid's recommended, but you can get a reader uh, that from Avid that will read all the other chips. The chip is in a, it's a tiny little thing the size of a grain of rice that is inside the needle here. I always make sure that it's in there before I do the injection because it matches the little uh, barcode they gave you with the right numbers. The injection I do on the side of these animals in front of the back leg uh, under the skin. And then it helps if you twist the needle, it bores it in there a little bit. And then you just inject that chip in there. We close that up with a little bit of super glue because sometimes if that hole's big enough and your lizard's active enough, right after doing this, they can back the chip out. You just make sure that the chip is now in the animal and not still in your syringe. Now we're doing this because uh, even though these animals have a pattern that is a bit like a fingerprint, they're all very different. Um, the, this is a permanent uh, chip that's under there. Uh, so if somebody steals your animals or they're lost in some way, uh, you can permanently and, and quickly identify that this is yours. It's a little moment of inconvenience, uh, but as we just saw with the last animal, uh, there wasn't a second hesitation of eating immediately after having this done. So it's not much different than getting a vaccination and then going about their business.